Hi there, Ellie Griggs, I'm a rendering specialist at Autodesk and I just want to go through this refractive portrait technique uh, using a texture map to refract a head scan behind it. There is this written tutorial as well, it's available for all the plugins, you can follow on there as well. Okay, so here's our scene, it's got a head scan with a polygon plane in front of it, lit by a cylinder area light. So if we start off by assigning a new material, new standard surface, let's call that head. And then we want to camera project the texture through the head and the plane. So you need to create a camera projection, connect it to the base color of the head. And then in the camera projection, projection color, create an Arnold image shader and then just load the texture you want to use to refract the head scan. Okay, so that's the head done. So I assign a new material for the plane. Again, standard surface. Call that plane. So now we want to connect the camera projection to the plane, but we're going to do it via a range shader. So connect the camera projection to the range input. Then we want to connect the range to the specular IR, specular color and transmission color. So specular color, specular IOR. Let's connect the out green to the specular IOR there. And then finally, some transmission and then connect it to transmission color. Okay, specular color, specular IOR, the transmission color. And then just remember to assign it to the plane. In the camera projection, just making sure it's linked to the render cam you want to use. Now let's switch to the render cam. Okay, so we're almost there. Now we need to go to our render settings and under background we want to connect a ray switch shader and then we want to make the specular reflection white so that we can see something behind the plane so we're projecting, projecting through the specular the plane we can now see through it so we go back to the range shader can adjust some of these values to give us a bit more control of how it looks. Don't worry about these values being physically accurate, we're just trying to make something that looks cool. So feel free to experiment. But yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye.